Dominique Cavagnou for France. Regine again getting her season off to a good start in both Super Giant Slalom and Giant Slalom. She's won in Copper Mountain, Colorado earlier this year. Twice eight in the two Super Gs contested on the tour. This, of course, the third Super Giant Slalom of nine to be contested. Avenue in all kinds of trouble on the first downhill held here on Friday, only managing 28th position, but then came back with a vengeance yesterday, finishing in sixth spot. Again, Cavenu, nice and high and clean. Look at the accuracy of the turn there, almost like a giant slalom skier rather than super G. Stops the clock at halfway, 0.22, she's building on that advantage. This is very good, clean skiing from Cavenu. And again, her giant slalom skills, which she's clearly worked hard on over the summer preparation months, will put her in good stead towards the end of her challenge. Nice and calm and loose with the upper body. Look at the legs just switching direction, pushing the hip from side to side and edge to edge. Lovely edge changes, so soft in the knees, wonderfully flexed in the ankles. France could take the lead away and spoil the Austrian party here as Cavenu goes into top position. 0.46 of a second and the advantage is considerable. Almost half a second up on Dorfmeister who goes into runner-up position with Gert. This is Italy's new giant slalom star, Karin Putzer, second in Copper Mountain and 11th in the giant slalom of Val d'Isere, and surprised many by showing that she's got speed ski skills as well. 13th position in Super G2 in Val d'Isere. Of course, this eraser who's also scored points in slalom this season. She's just 21 years of age, but the Italian's developing a real all-rounder here. Karen, quite a small skier, not as tall, not as powerful as many of the other races on the circuit. But what she lacks in height, she really does make up with skill and attention to detail in her line. Now, the only problem for the young Italian is her lack of experience at high speed, but it doesn't seem to be affecting her just now, does it? 0.35 of a second. Italy looking to take top spot once again. As uh, Karen Putza from Nova Levante. Really working the skis well. It's a giant slalom technique and style that's putting her in good stead here. Looking a little tired towards the end, but if she can carry the speed that she's built from the top section, Cavagno's lead could be in threat. Karen puts her for Italy, storms in, and takes top position away from Cavagno. A big surprise here in San Moritz as the giant slalom and slalom specialist from the Italian team. She hasn't even seen it yet. She doesn't realize that she goes into first position. Wait till she sees the screen. She's shaking the head. She doesn't know. Alessandra Merlin from Turin. Her elder sister, Barbara Merlin, recently retired from the Italian squad. And, well, Alessandra determined to keep the strong family ties with international ski racing alive. And she's starting to do a pretty good job, one has to say. 14th and 17th in the two Super Gs so far this season. And an impressive 11th position. Her best downhill performance of her career to date here yesterday. 27.61 is the target time for the early split. Again, Merlin will know that she has beaten Putzer many times in training. And she's on track here. Almost half a second quicker going into the S-turn and then dropping onto the very steep wall. Oh, hits the gate, twisted round. She's grappling for the ski pole. Gets the balance back pretty quickly, but it has an effect. She's now just two tenths quicker. And the Italian team coming strong once again. Karin Putzer, who could not believe it when she got to the bottom that she was the quickest, now looks up in disbelief. Alessandra Merlin looking to take it away from the youngster. Could be an Italian, one and two. Looking very strong in the turn. Clearly taking some of the technical skills of, of his older Costner. And Merlin, very close, just outside. 
127-53. Italy go one and two. It's a long time since we've seen the Italian women dominate like they are today in Samaritz. It is now Putzer, Merlin and Cavagno. Italy.